people are fairly important, really, because they add scale to a painting. Um, but there is a way of painting people. I'm going to show you exactly what that is right now. I'm going to use my number eight Kalinsky Sable. And the reason I use this is because it's got a really nice point. You know, really nice point to it. It's lovely. Um, and if we do a person, we'll start with a head. We'll just do a head. I'll do a head here. There you go, there's a head. It's quite small actually. And say we do, all right, let's just do this one, one person. There's the head. And it's almost, I'm gonna use some, that, that was painted in burnt sienna, by the way, that little dot. I'll do one bigger in a minute. I'll just, just show you, just trying to, I've got some um, indigo, which is almost like my equivalent, the black really, it's a very dark blue. We've only got three blues, haven't we? And what you do is you tend to come wide at the top. But the important thing with a person really important person sorry important thing is that the head fits into the body seven and a half times it's the only thing you need to know nothing else it fits in at seven and a half times um so you'd start wide at the top it's a, a little bit like doing um a, a bit of a, a sort of carrot really you sort of get big and then you'd sort of it, it starts, it's like a carrot. And say this is a partner to this um, gentleman here, we just put in another, so it's wearing a bit of a skirt. Again, what's great about this technique, and it's really worth practicing, is that you don't need too much accuracy. It's a bit like that building I just showed you a minute ago. You don't have to be too accurate. I think as long as you get the basic proportions sort of right, and the head is sort of there, no, no bigger. I'll just lift that up so you can see it. That's got a bit of action, that's got a bit of movement, but I did that really quite simply. Let me try another, let me do that again. Okay, let me do it again. And this is really worthwhile practicing. We're filming this, you can watch this again later on today. Um, it's not round. There is a danger of getting the head too big. When the head is too big, your person becomes a Martian. It looks like a Martian. You don't want a Martian. I think also heads need to be slightly, almost a bit square. And let's get another one here. But we'll also get a child. Now, child's head is bigger. They do look like Martians' children, but that's the way it is. I'm going to go back to my uh, indigo. Let's start. Um, just approximately, you notice the heads are bigger now. So the body's gonna be a bit, a bit bigger. I'm looking at the head and I'm looking at the, roughly where I'm coming down to. Uh, maybe even a bit, bit more.
And you can, if you wanted to shove some more color in there, a little bit of purple. But you can see how the head is, it's proportion. I've been doing this a lot, so I sort of, sort of just get it. And you will as well. Don't worry, you really will. If you just get a Kalinsky sable, just let me do a couple more. Have a go at this. It's really, it's a lot easier than you think. Let's get another, let's get three people over here now. I've got four people. It's not quite long though, there's a bigger heads here. Just get a bit of a different color going on. So they're coming down much further here. You know, I, I painted this fairly quickly. I haven't really, and it's all blending and bleeding around there, but it, it's quite active. You know, it feels like there's a group of, bit of camaraderie going on there. You can also do a few other things. Um, if there, that was a woman with a bag or something, or maybe it's um, a lead to a, a dog or, You know, it's hardly any, there's <laughs> no, the, the, the people have not got noses and mouths and, you know, wearing cravats and it's not, not going to happen. So these are purely um, figures for, for putting in a landscape. And one of the things you need to do as well, just to, get them to, to, to sit is, is sometimes to do, um, do some shadow. Again, if, you, if you're doing a group of people, you always need that. And that's uh, it, not much effort in there, really. I, I know I'm an artist and I'm a tutor and I do it all the time. I know that. But the principles, to be honest with you, are very, are very, very simple. And... Um, there's, and, and you would imagine these people, you've got some people in the foreground, they're in the midground and they're in the distance. And we can put some people, if we wanted to, right at the very back. Say there's two people there. Let's just get some dark, not quite as dark this time. Uh, that looks like, um, I don't know, a couple there, miles away in the distance. But these are all, pe these people were all painted on the same plane. And there's one really, really important thing to take out of this with adults. Yeah, you ready for this? This is, this bit might freak you out completely. 
but it's really, really important. Um, imagine all these people, they're, they're all walking, say, towards us, um, and they're all on the same level. And we know it feels like they're on the same level, doesn't it? It feels like they're all, they're in the distance, they're in the foreground, but there's one common denominator going on in all of this, and that is the heads of the adults are all virtually on the same line. That is really, really important. That is a real secret. And, you know, artists on YouTube don't like to give these things away. They don't tell you that. This is a classic little trick. It's a trick that all the watercolorists use, never tell people. So if you've got a problem, if you've got people walking across a bridge or coming towards you, always make sure their heads, doesn't matter where they are, they can be right in the distance or right up into the foreground. They can be in the foreground or in the distance, but all the heads line up, except for dogs and kids. It's a little trick, it's a little trick. I think it's to do with the fact that where you're looking, you're high up because of where your head is, your eyes are, and you're looking at, and everybody else's head will be on the same level going off into the distance. Unless you're standing on a big orange box, unless you're looking down. Um, the other thing, the way I want to end this with people, is that you, you have people coming towards you or moving away from you. You don't have them going sideways across the painting. And that's a mistake that a lot of amateurs use. They put, they're in a rush to put people, so they've got people running, but they're running across the page. That somehow doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right. Just put a little bit of shadow there. Right, there you go. That was, that was all about people. Well, I hope you found this movie uh, useful to you. If you did, could you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? And maybe consider coming on my Monday or Wednesday virtual watercolours on Zoom, where I can really help you to get your watercolours to really lift off. Take care. Bye. Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four.